This represents the final stage in the evolution of modern money. The short version of what is Bitcoin is Bitcoin's an electronic money. So, I mean, really what that means is it's, there's a, a piece of digital information that you can hold where there's no single person or organization or government in charge. Bitcoin was invented by Satoshi Nakamoto. He released a, an academic paper and he also started up Bitcoin. As far as I know, no one has actually met Satoshi. No one knows who he or she or they are. Money should be something of value. The value should be obvious and uniform. So there are really three factors that drive interest in Bitcoin. The first is its decentralized nature. It's absolutely absurd for any government to tell someone what they can do with their own money if they're not harming anyone. The second is its anonymity. Bitcoin has been widely used by a website called Silk Road, which will house pretty much everything to be bought and sold. And the third thing is its zero transaction costs. It gives people a deflationary store of value that's easy to send anywhere in the world. And that's revolutionary. There aren't that many people who are passionate enough about their politics so they will adopt a new currency. And there aren't that many people breaking the law you know, in wholesale ways. But it's this transition to the third characteristic that's really interesting, because zero transaction cost has an appeal to everybody. The convenience of modern money has evolved from an age-old search for a satisfactory medium of exchange. And this new financial innovation is going to unleash all types of financial technology. You're seeing a tremendous inflow of venture capital money into the Bitcoin space. We raised a $500,000 seed round uh, from a group of uh, well-regarded investors. We're getting literally calls every day from new firms who want to invest in us. And we're in this strange position where we're actually turning money down. You've got an opportunity to revolutionize financial services. Tens of billions, hundreds of billions of market cap at risk. If that comes under pressure, then it's like squeezing a balloon market value has to be created somewhere else, ideally in these new companies. I think sort of the litmus test for all this is can I feasibly present this to someone who hasn't seen it before, even my mom, and can she reasonably use it? People will find out how useful it is as they come to use it. It is the protocol for money on the internet. So in 20 years, when, you're, when computers trade value with each other for whatever reason, they'll use Bitcoin or its successor to do that. Money is information and it should move at the speed of information. Bitcoin does that and nothing else can do that. Ask yourself, which is more important in your life? Money or email and I think most people will say money so this is bigger than email. All sorts of things have been used as currency throughout time. It's not as if the dollar was handed down you know Moses came down and said hey we must use this dollar. We just have to open up the doors of the way people think about money. This particular piece of money is just starting in circulation. What will happen to it? What will it be used for? What can money be used for? What is money anyway?